Hey, friendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. And it's time once again to see if the Katra of Steve here and the Katra of Dave Meltzer will become one as I am in the hot seat to guess the Meltzer star rating. It's Friday after a pay-per-view, which means it's time to guess the Meltzer star rating. Larson. It is. It is. Are you Are you ready? Do you feel like things are aligned for you to to get these not There's nine just of things katra katra sorry we right. looked it up that was that was the right right term the vulcan spirit how did i not remember that how did you, did you not remember remember remember, remember All right. that anyway what's the first bitch of course first <laughs> match we'll start with the zero hour mjf and adam cole baby uh defeating aussie open the in the ring of honor tag team titles in six minutes 56 seconds um, this is what Meltzer had to say about the match. The crowd popped big once they've built that spot up the double clothesline for weeks and hadn't done it successfully until here. Cole and MJF had a stare down after the win, and Cole took his new belt and left. Pre-show is like an eight-minute match. Can't be anything more than three and a half stars. Two and three quarters. <laughs> okay. Just I a, way overshot that uh, one. Just a little bit below what we gave it. I think we both had, gave it three stars. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next. Hook. Defeats Jack Perry in 8 minutes 24 seconds to win the FTW title. Uh, let's see some editorializing here. Uh, not really any. Perry no came out in a limo, which was the key to the match. <laughs> Perry came out, <laughs> which was the key to the match. Okay, again, short match. I'll say three and a quarter. Ding, ding, ding. Hey! I got on the board, Steve baby. Steve is on the board. I, I came out it too. on fire. I know. I'm I'm loading up. Hold on. I want to load up my uh oh your my your, ratings. Your stars. So I, have, I, I have mine right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't I? Here we go. No, these are something else. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I'm good. I got mine. I'm oh, good. I have I'm mine right here. Go. Yeah, we both gave that last one a three to quarter. Next match. First match on the main card, CM Punk retained his Real World Championship over Samoa Joe in 13 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, the crowd was mixed early, got way more for Joe as the match went on, but when Punk won, the crowd popped like he was the baby face and cheered Punk a lot. I'll have to rewatch that finish because I do not remember anybody popping for nothing for that Pepsi plunge. I thought yeah. it went silent. Yeah. Um, still, uh, Dave thinks that that happened, so... I'm going to say he gave it what I gave it, and that's four and a quarter. You're way off, buddy. Three and a, three and a half. What? Three and a half? Yeah, wow. more in line with what I gave it. I gave it three and three quarter. He gave it three and a half. Wow. He, he was not a fan of the, the Pepsi Plunge, evidently. I guess not, even though he said people pop for it. That's crazy. I guess amongst people, one of them was not Dave Meltzer. Yeah. Next. Got Next. Bang Bang Gang. Jay White. Juice Robinson. Uh, as well as Kanosuke Takeshita defeating Golden Elite, Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi, and Hangman Adam Page in 20 minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot of editorializing here either. Mm -hmm. uh, Omega hit the V-trigger on White three times, and Takeshita then schoolboyed Omega for the pin. That's kind of it. No All right, so editorializing. This seems... This... Mm, like it's Kenny Takeshita, it's all the it's Jay White, it's it's Kota Bush. I feel like Dave probably would have like a floor of four stars, but I can't believe he's gonna do that. I say three and three quarters. You should have trusted your gut. Four and a half. What? I, I never would have gone that high. No, I, I never, never would I would have said four and a quarter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just gave it four and a half. Dude, I mean, uh, it is the ultimate like new. Oh, it has like match. most of his really most is. of his dudes in it. I know. Mm -hmm. Next match. Next match. FTR beat the Young Bucks to retain the AEW tag titles in 21 minutes and 46 seconds. Uh, great match as expected. It was one big move after another. Crowd was really hot for this match. He didn't say best this, best that. I'm gonna say he went. Four and three quarters. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, two on the board, baby. <laughs> Dave Green with uh, so far was. I got two wow. the same as Dave. Ooh. I feel like we're going to differ here on this one, though. 
Next match, Stadium Stampede. Of course, he had Andy uh, Kingston, Best Friends, Orange Cassidy, and Penta defeating Blackpool Combat Club and Santana and Ortiz in 21 minutes and 21 seconds. Uh, this is what Dave had to say. This was the bloodbath brawl. The building gave a lot of limitations on what they could do. Uh, still, this was totally wild. They just brawled all over the place. Some loved it and some didn't like it, and it seemed to be the most polarizing match on the show. So it sounds like when he says polarizing, he was on the positive side of the polarizing. He called it wild. Wild. I'm going to say he went four. Four and a half. So close. Oh, four and a half. Really? Wow. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Next. Next, bitch. Soraya defeats Hikaru Shida, Tony Storm, and Britt Baker to win the AEW women's title in eight minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, this is what Dave had to say. This is basically a showcase for Soraya telling the story of the British star who thought she would never wrestle again and then wins the world title before a record crowd. Three and a quarter. Two and three quarters. <laughs> I, I was even marking it down to Dave's standards. He managed to go even lower. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Two and three. Jeez, Dave. That was a really good match. Wow. Well, Just one more of it. Next coffin match, Sting and Darby Allen defeated Swerve Strickland and Christian Cage in 15 minutes and 48 seconds. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, see, there's not a whole lot of editorializing here. Uh, Sting did a video with Joker Sting. <laughs> okay, there we go. There, there we go. All right. Oh, man, nothing much to go on here. Uh, I mean, I'll flick, man. I'm just going to say... Boy, oh boy, I don't know if he would go four. There's no Dave Meltzer elements to this match. Trust my gut, three and a half. Four and a quarter. What? Good. I gave this four. I thought it was a really good match. Yeah, I thought That's it was cool. really good, too. I thought it was really okay, good Okay, well. all right, all right. Uh, Will Ospreay pinned Chris Jericho oh, in five, 15 minutes and 25 five, seconds. You're going to say five? Five stars. Five, yeah. Four and three quarters, Steve. <laughs> so close. You should have waited it's for Will the editorial Ospreay. line. No, nah, man, it's Will Ospreay. I don't care what he says. If it's Will Ospreay, it's going to get five stars. I got close. I got close. So here we go. This this is this is interesting bit of uh, editorializing by Melsey here. Even though the show had a WrestleMania crowd, it didn't feel like WrestleMania. It didn't feel like Wrestle Kingdom. Really, it felt like a great wrestling show before a huge crowd, which is what it was designed to be. That does that means nothing. That's How do you just know what that means? Space. That means nothing. That's what it doesn't it means. mean anything. Nothing. Oh, that's funny. Next match. Next bitch. The acclaimed Billy Gunn defeated the House of Black to win the trios titles in nine minutes and fifteen seconds. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the House of Black acted as faces and had the belts over. And the acclaimed talked about Gunn getting to be on top again. They did what they called the world's largest scissor party. Three and a half. He only gave this two and a half stars. <laughs> what is that is that a typo is that an error did dave make a mistake that's, in that one that's funny something else isn't it yeah hmm all hmm. right here we go made event time oh man man I, got, I got i need one more here man i got two it's not enough for me two out of two out of 12 man. i mean you know i'm look i'm getting the dude goes by quarter stars i know and he's got a scale of negative five to you know, positive seven. I think it is seven. seven yeah, the highest. You know, it's, it's including duds. I don't know where your duds any, fall. Including you a dud the in there too. Yeah. Anyways, MJF defeats Adam Cole to retain the AEW Championship in 27 minutes and 27 seconds. The crowd cheered both men loudly, but clearly MJF got the louder cheers. Uh, I thought there's something else at the bottom here. Oh. Uh, the negative was that Defy, Rev Pro, and AEW all use a double ref bump spot in the covers with no ref in their title matches in a two-day period. It's not AEW's fault. You're talking about maybe 4,000 out of 86,000 or so saw one of those two shows. I don't even know why he brings that up. But Do, I'm sorry. Defy, Rev Pro, and who? AEW all use a double ref bump spot in the covers with no ref on, in their title matches. Defy and Rev Pro. Nobody's watching that shit. What are you talking about? I don't know why he oh brings it up. God. He continues. It's not a negative. But it's something way overdone in title matches in WWE as well, but storytelling was very good and the wrestling was strong. Four and three quarters. So close. Four and a half. Four and a half. Son of a biscuit. 
Man. You well, did you know good. What? I you got the ones you best. I, Love him. You were close. I got I got really close on it. I think I came within a quarter of a couple of them. Like yeah, you the Osprey did. We're so close to getting one. like four or five correctly. You guessed. know what, man? Strong I'm showing. happy with my score. I got two. I got two out of them. It's, man, like I said, this is, there's a lot of, you know, uh, what is that? There's like four per star rating. There's uh, like seven of those are like 28 possibilities. Add like the, the the negative numbers. You got like, I don't know, 40 this possibilities. This is all making my head hurt. Why are you going into this math right now? Man, you know, because it's Friday. What are you thinking done. about math on a Friday? We got a little busy weekend of watching wrestling. I got to think about my own star ratings for two shows this weekend and then guessing one of them next weekend or next you week. Get, you get payback next week. Oh, I kind of want to do all out. Can I do all out and instead? I, and I got... Well, no, we go one to one. You get doom, doom, doom. There's so you only get six this. matches of payback, and you could be twenty five at all out. <laughs> I know. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we go one after the other after instead the other. Instead of getting instead facts. of correct uh, guesses, we should do win, or correct guessing percentage. Well, um, yeah, whatever you want to do. Uh, but then after that, I got to do fast lane in October. All right. No, no, I do uh, Wrestle Dream. No, I'll do Wrestle Dream because that's the next you one. You do after. Wrestle Dream. That's the next one after yeah. after all out. Yeah, yeah. And then after that is Fast Lane. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got the six. I got the six match card next Fine. month. Fine. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah. Let us know uh, what you guys got in the comments below on these matches, and uh, and you know, it, g- give us some, give us some. The, the proper amount of pro- I want the comments to just light up with the pro- appropriate amount of praise for Dave Meltzer and his innovative star ratings. Yeah, because as we all know, he invented the rating and the star and the star rating. No, I don't think any of that is true. Look it up. Till next time. See you around. Goodbye, everybody.